Welcome back, everyone, to Chase Field as we are, boy, we're coming up at almost <laughs> quarter to four. So we're a little over an hour away from game three in this series. What are you expecting tonight, Cam? Mark, I'm expecting the D-backs to play their brand of baseball, to stick to what's working. They went away from it early on against Philly, but they've gone back to it. And you just see when they put pressure on teams, teams kind of buckle in a way. Not to say Rangers are going to be a tough out. They're perfect on the road in the postseason. D-backs will play really well, see if they can keep it up, right? Should we give you guys a look at the fans that are here? Look at this. The crowds. And there's like one little guy. And this is such a sad story. He had to sell his house to get tickets to this game. <laughs> really? So, yeah. His Lego house? Yeah. We're, we're going to set up a GoFundMe for that young guy who had to sell his house. But the fans are filing in. It is game three. It is Brandon Fott. It is Max Scherzer. And what's interesting, Cam, the D-backs are 10-4 and four in the postseason. But this is the first game in the postseason where the D-backs are actually favored. Yeah, and they should be, Mark. To me, after that thumping they gave him in game two, D-backs are playing hot. They're playing their brand of baseball. And Brandon Fott's just been phenomenal. Five straight wins here in the postseason. Like, this is kind of what this rookie has done. Be interesting to see him go against Max Scherzer, who has struggled in the postseason. To help us break it all down, we got a chance to talk to D-backs broadcaster, longtime broadcaster Steve Berthium, just moments ago. Well, Steve, I get the work is done for you now, so you get to kind of enjoy this, right? Yeah, it's weird, Cam, being a civilian, basically. <laughs> you, you, do, you do 160 games, and then you hand it off to B.A. or Joe Davis or everything, but that's the way it works. So I get to enjoy it just as a fan. My wife and I have tickets for tonight's game. We'll be in the in the seats, so uh, it's kind of cool. I mean, it's, it's a little weird for me, but um, I'm definitely enjoying it. It's been awesome. Steve, did you have this on your bingo card? Not when we lost nine in a row in 22 or 29 or whatever it was in July and August, you thought, boy, we had that great start. We went from, what, 13 or 16 over 500 to three under in about two weeks, it seemed like. <laughs> so, uh, but it, it's great the way they have bounced back. It's great. They made it as hard on themselves as they could with the pat that they got here, right? The win that's six and seven at Philadelphia. But, boy, it's, it's really uplifting to see so many fans here in cam i see so many kids in my neighborhood wearing d-backs caps and t-shirts and jerseys and i it used to be a larry fitzgerald jersey or a devin booker shirt now it's a cattell Marte shirt now it's a corbin carroll jersey it's all great but i'm hoping that this really helps us build our next generation of d-back fans for years to come yeah. what's it going to take to get the rangers here at home they're a tough road team well, I think we already beat the toughest team, honestly. I, I have the Phillies as a little bit better than Texas. They're one and two with Wheeler and Nola's a little bit better than Valdi and Montgomery. The Phillies' bullpen was better than Texas's. They both slug a lot. So I just think keep playing their game, man. Everybody's into the chaos. Um, I think it's controlled, calculated chaos. We, we run when we can. It's not willy-nilly. It's not reckless. It's calculated, and when they see something, they go, and it's worked out really well. Are you able just to sit in the stands and enjoy it, yell, scream, cheer? I, well, I'll find out. It's my first time. <laughs> Usually now I'm at a fall league game or I'm watching the postseason on television, so this will be a new experience for me. It's been a while, but I'm looking forward to it. Steve, Steve is great. So is Baxter. Baxter, real quick, predictions tonight. Yep, yep. Boom. Uh-huh. Six. Yep. Six nothing. Six nothing. You heard it here. Yeah, there we go. We'll be right back.